Hi everyone and welcome back to another video or if you're new here my name is Donna I upload twice a week and it's foodie content on my channel so it might be a grocery haul it will be meals of the week video recipe ideas and also I'm a mum of two boys aged five and nine so there's also a bit of family vlogs and days out activity ideas things like that as well but today I'm sharing with you four quick and easy meal ideas for your family so um, there's an act of fry, a slow cooker and two oven ideas this week. But I know everyone is trying to cut down on the use of their electricity and gas. So next week I will be sharing just a whole week of slow cooker meals for you. So if that sounds like your kind of thing and you enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stick around for more videos. And without further ado, let's get cooking. Hi everyone, tonight for dinner we are going to have a chicken salad. So I've got this reduced skinless chicken breast fillets I got from um, the Tesco Express near me. And they reduced to 2.39, so I've got two of those. So I'm going to season those up with some of this Bravas mix. It's kind of a paprika. Um, yeah, it's got salt, garlic, paprika and cayenne and oregano. So it is quite spicy. So I'm going to keep the boys a chicken breast that's just plain but my husband and I will have our spicy. And then I've also got this pasta salad that I got reduced from Tesco as well, down to 94p. And it's not huge because it's lunch, but my husband and I are trying to be a bit healthier. So we're just gonna have half of that each. Um, just it's a bit of a sort of pesto and tomato pasta. So we'll have that. And then I'm also gonna do some salad. So I've got this rocket and baby leaf salad reduced down to 76p. And then I'm just going to do some cucumber with it as well. And then I've probably got some beetroot or red cabbage or pickled onions or something in the fridge as well. So we'll probably have something pickly with it or some salad dressing. Um, so yeah, the boys will just have some chicken and some salad and I might do them maybe a waffle or something to go with it because I don't think they will like the pesto pasta. So yeah, it's quite a simple one, but I'll show you it when it's ready. and here is our dinner ready so we've got the seasoned chicken that i just did in the oven so we've got one chicken breast each and i've saved the other one for lunch tomorrow and then we've got a mixed salad just with some leaves some cucumber and some beetroot and then we've got the um pesto pasta salad as well we've just um shared that between us so that's my husband and mine and then the boys have got some plain chicken breast and I did them some chicken noodles and they've just got cucumber and carrot. So that's Archie's and that's Henry's. He doesn't like quite as much chicken, so I've given him a bit less. And then also with the reduced fruit that I got from Tesco's, we have, or the boys have made themselves some fruit kebabs for pudding. So these are Henry's ones. He's done like raspberries and grapes and a bit of mango. And then Archie likes melon as well. So he's got some melon on his. So that's a nice healthy pudding to use up the reduced fruit as well. So yeah, a really healthy one and that's what we're having tonight. Hi everyone, tonight for dinner we are going to have kind of a Korean beef. So I'm just sort of making it up really as I go along. But I've got one of these big rump steaks that I'm going to just cut into thin strips. And then I'm going to do some red onion, red pepper and some broccoli. And I'm just going to pop it all in the air fryer with a spray of oil and a little bit of this sriracha chilli. Not too much because it does say hot on it. And then when that's nearly cooked, I'm going to just put over this sweet um, style sort of sauce. And then let that sort of heat up and sort of hopefully go a little bit sticky and sort of thicken. And then I'm just going to serve it with some of this microwave golden rice. So... I'm really trying now to use the actor fry and the slow cooker and the microwave a bit more because um, I, I have posted about this before and I mentioned in my grocery shop that they are actually the cheaper um, 
ways to cook at the minute so um that's what i'm going to try and do so it's going to be really easy i'll sort of show you it once i've chopped it all and put it in the air fryer and then um, i'll show you it when it's ready Okay, and here's our dinner ready so i've just done everything in the air fryer mixed in that korean sauce and then i've just dished it up with the microwave rice and then we've just got a sprinkle of sesame seeds on the top so that one's my husband's and that one's mine hi everyone tonight for dinner we are having a beef chili so i've got 500 grams of beef mince here Obviously you could use turkey mince, pork mince, veggie mince, whatever you like, but I've gone for beef. You need whatever veggies you want to put in. So I've gone for a red pepper, yellow pepper, and a red onion. And then the herbs and spices and bits are completely up to you. So um, I've got some tomato puree, some salt and pepper, got some paprika which I like to put lots in because it gives it a really nice flavour without being too spicy for the children. Um, some garlic, obviously you could use fresh but I've got some of this dried garlic. I put Worcestershire sauce in mine but obviously that's completely optional. If you were using corn mince because you're vegetarian or vegan um, you wouldn't obviously want to use this because it's got anchovies in so um, yeah you could leave that one out. And then um, I will add some of the sriracha chilli at the end of the cooking for my husband and I. But obviously your children might be older or they might like spicy food. So you could put that in. Um, but I put a sprinkling at the end once I've dished the children's up. And then the base of it is uh, good old chopped tomatoes and then um, some kidney beans. You could obviously use mixed beans or baked beans, whatever you like, but we do like kidney beans, so we go with the classic kidney beans for ours. So that's everything you need. And then it just all goes into the soak cooker, so I'll show you that now. Okay, so I've just got my soak cooker here, and it really is as easy as just putting it all in. So I've got my beef mince there. I've got my peppers and onions. And then you just need to add your spices. So I don't weigh or measure any of these. I just give it a good shake of paprika. A really good grind of garlic. A glug of Worcestershire. Some black pepper. A small amount of salt. And then like I say, I will add the chilli to mine at the end because um, I don't want it to be too spicy for the children. Your tomato puree. And then you just need to add your chopped tomatoes and your drained and rinsed kidney beans. Once that's all in there, just give it all a really good mix. You don't need to add any more water or anything because you will find that the um, veggies will release some water and stuff as they're cooking. So it gets a bit dry, you could add a splash of water. If it's too watery, I just add a small sprinkle of beef gravy granules to mine at the end. 
So I will see um, how it looks once it's been cooking. So I'm just going to pop that now onto low and leave it all day. Okay, and this chilli has been in the slow cooker all day on low and you can see it's cooked really nicely. It's a really good consistency. I didn't add any more water, so that is what has come out of the meat and the veg. So um, you definitely don't need to add any more water. Um, and that looks perfect. So you could either, if you wanted it, um, we're having ours in wraps. So we're going to have it like burritos. So you could either chuck your rice in there as well and add a bit of stock or something and let your rice cook in the chilli if you like rice with it. Or you could just have that in some wraps with some grated cheese or some salad or whatever you like. And that way it saves you putting the hob or whatever else on. So we're going to have ours um, as burritos in wraps with some grated cheese. So I'll show you it when it's plated up. Hi everyone, tonight for dinner we are having some salmon. So I've got two fillets here marinating in some soy, honey, garlic and chilli for my husband and I. And then there's one smaller fillet there which I've saved for Archie. He just likes his plain. Um, so I've left that there. Henry's having fish fingers because he doesn't like salmon. And then we're going to have some sweet potato done in the act of fry. And then I've just got quite a bit of different veg. So I've got a bit of broccoli left to use up. We've got some green beans, which Henry actually grew in the garden. He got given a bean at school when they did Jack and the Beanstalk and we planted it at home and he got four or five beans off. So we're eating his runner beans as well. And then we've got some of the small corn on the cobs as well. So we're going to have a nice summery one and just have some salmon, some sweet potato and some veg. So I'll show you it when it's ready. Okay, and here's our dinner ready. So my husband and I have got sweet potato, salmon and veg. And then Archie's got salmon and veg, but he's got a waffle and Henry's got fish fingers because he doesn't like salmon. So that's what we've got tonight.